I set my Hello, welcome to Dairy D's channel. Today I'm going to take you through an amazing recipe and it's all about grilling tilapia. Yeah, I'm going to show you how to grill tilapia. Or let me say, I'm going to show you how I grill my tilapia, yeah. Okay, so I go X the normal way. I'm going to use the cold pot and the chapel we all know of. And it's going to be great, yeah. So, I call it the charcoal grilled tilapia, the charcoal grilled tilapia. So, let's begin with the ingredients I use to seasoning my tilapia before I grill. Okay, I have some chopped onions here. I have ginger, hot pepper, the one you all normally call the papushito, yeah. Um, I have some garlic here. I have anise seeds. The one you call the inketen inketen, yeah, and you see, I have some rosemary here as well. I have some powdered black pepper, and I have some um, complete seasoning. I have Maggi Mispi, yeah, I love it, to use that. And I have some Maggi Cube as well. I have some powder pepper, yeah, the powder pepper, and I have some salt here. If I think I need some little salt, I just add some pinch of salt to my seasoning to taste. Yeah, and some cooking oil here, vegetable oil, yeah. And I have some water here as well. Maybe I would need water for something, so just put it aside. And this is my green pepper with some chopped onions I'm gonna use. I'm gonna grind, yeah. I'm gonna grind to add to my bound corn. Yeah. So that's it for the ingredients we need. So let's start with the process. I have the chopped onions, the ginger, hot pepper, and I see rosemary and garlic. I'm gonna put everything in the blender and blend together. For the tilapia you see yeah it doesn't have to be too liquid because it has to be thick because we're gonna apply it on the tilapia I'm gonna add a little of my vegetable oil to it okay. mix together very well I'm gonna use my hand to apply the seasoning to my tilapia so make sure your hands are very clean before you step with that. I've cut some of the portions of the tilapia so that my seasoning can I mean fill those places very well so that the Tilapia seasonings very well. Yeah. Okay, so you can see that. Okay, so see, I open this part of it. Then. I'm done with the seasoning of my tilapia, yeah, and I've covered it with a rubber foil. I love to leave my tilapia for like 10 to 15 minutes before I grill to get the seasonings to, you know, enter its fillets. <laughs> you get it? Yeah, so that we get the taste of it. So, I'm gonna put this tilapia, seasoned tilapia, into my fridge and wait for like 10-15 minutes then we can grill 
Wow, look at that bango. It goes so well with a grilled tilapia. Let's see. I think I want this banco more soft, so I'm gonna add some little water and boil it and cover it for the water to boil. Up from the plate. Wow. See that? Okay. So I'm gonna drop it. Okay, so let me add. think we have to turn it now and this grill is so easy because you just take it up and you turn it that the way yeah so but before that let me apply some little vegetable oil making our pepper ready for the Checking on our tilapia. Yeah. No, we're still adding more mixture to it to make it more tasty. Our tilapia is ready. Our charcoal grilled tilapia is right here. You can see how appetizing it is. Yeah. And you know tilapia really goes well with banco. So we have banco here. Yeah. You want to check for the ingredients I used in seasoning my tilapia? Just look below. There is a description box. Yes, they are right there. Just go there and check out for the ingredients I used in seasoning my tilapia. Okay, so that is it for now. Thanks for watching Dairy Dish channel. Please do well to subscribe, share, like, and comment. Okay, thank you. See ya. Bye-bye. Oh, my love to you, my baby